So here's how you set up SketchUp Pro for the class. First open up SketchUp Pro or SketchUp, go to Window, choose Model Info to make sure we're in decimal uh, format and in the unit of millimeters. That's down here under Units. <coughs> then go to View, Toolbars, and make sure the following toolbars are selected. Large tool set, measurements, section, styles, and views. These are the ones I prefer, prefer but make sure that large tool set and, and views certainly need to be need to be installed. And the first thing we're going to do is show you how to make a circle. So I'm, I want it to be, oh, let's call it 20 millimeters in radius, 20 millimeter radius. So you click the circle tool, put it on the origin, and then slide it out to any size you want. Before you click anything else, notice down here that the radius is much, much larger than 20 millimeters like we wanted. So we just simply click in the box, and it's not going to be highlighted, but we just can type in 20 and um, hit enter. That's going to zoom it way in. What I can do now is I can press this button, the zoom extends, which will zoom in on the piece I've got. Notice that the circle has lots and lots of um, edges here. It's a, really a polygon. So we can click back into the, the text box here and type 100S to change that to a 100-sided circle instead of the 24-sided circle. That's the default. So hit 100S, press Enter, and now the circle becomes um, much more circular. I can, I can zoom out. Oops, sorry. I'm used to using the, the, the my three-button mouse and my wheel. Okay. Now I want to extend this a bit, make it a three-dimensional object, and for that I need the push-pull tool. And let's say I want this to be um, seven and a half centimeter, uh, seven and a half millimeters uh, thick. So I can grab this and drag it, and you can see the distance down here on the bottom left. And I could try to get seven and a half, or I could just pick any size I want. Come down here and type 7.5. Hit enter. There you go. So that extended it. And now we've got we've got a circle. If you want to see the geometries, the hidden geometry, you can go to view, hidden geometry, and you can see all the 100 little polygons that make up the circle. You can actually grab the push pull tool, extend it out a certain distance say five millimeters click here five millimeters and then what's really cool about the push pull tool now if I double click on the next one it will go directly to five so I can make a gear with every fourth one for example one two three four one two three four and then I can just continue on around orbiting counting push pull as I go. That double click push pull is pretty neat. And watch this too. Let's say that you decide later on that that four that five millimeters is not what you want, but rather, you know, maybe maybe um uh, unfortunately this was a relative scale so let's say that that's what you want you can then come around and then double click on each of your the faces of each of your little teeth and it will remember what that value was so now if you come and look at it from the top there's your little gear anyway just a little getting started tutorial